Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've had a few of you reach out to me and ask about the situation between Ukraine and Russia, knowing that my wife is originally from Russia, and if you haven't noticed, it's kind of in the name of the channel. Alright, I need that for this one not a video I thought I'd be making but I feel it's important to kind of put out the perspective of the Russian people towards this whole situation so before I get into this my wife was born and raised in Russia she came here on her own looking for a better life just like a lot of people from other countries uh, you know they pursue other avenues other countries to try to make a better life for themselves um, we do stand with Ukraine uh, on this matter. I don't think anybody wants to see war between any place. You know, I mean, for us here in America, we've been battling the war on terror for way too long, and uh, you know, it's just we're all we're all tired and weary of this, and nobody wants this. So, um, I am not going to make this political. I'm not going to make any statements about their president, any president whatsoever, I'm not going to do that. Um, understand, this is my passport, right? This is my wife's. She is a dual citizen, and she has family in Russia, so I'm not going to go down that hole. <laughs> okay, because I would really like to go back and visit. So yes, I've been there and I really encourage you to go to my travel playlist and check out my uh, videos on Russia. It's a really beautiful country. And there are some very, uh, very nice, hospitable people. Now one thing when I made the videos there really surprised me is people were like, wow, they're just like us. And yeah, it's true. And I think maybe this comes from like my videos, especially the first one, American in a Russian mall. Uh, we had just landed in Moscow, spent an entire day traveling. There was a mall across the street from us. Now, I understand this isn't a touristy place, okay? So there's no tourists hanging out into this area. We go to the mall. There's a food court, and there's a Burger King. There's a KFC. There's other restaurants, and there's Russians in line to eat this American-type fast food. They enjoy it just like the rest of us. Uh, there's a hardware store, like a Lowe's, inside the mall. There's people in there buying lights, uh, garden hoses, miscellaneous stuff and then uh next door to that and, and it's interesting interestingly enough there on two levels is a supermarket and there's people there just shopping for groceries they're buying what they need eggs milk bread whatever it is they're shopping they're just like anybody else in the world they go to work they stop by the store they get their groceries they go home they have their kids a uh, husband or wife they have their family, their apartment, their house. Uh, they deal with their daily life just like anybody else. And it's really, really important. I can't emphasize this enough. You have to separate a government from its people. You can't say the people are representative of the government. There's certain situations out there where, you know, the people of a country or a place would love to get rid of the person in charge, and they can't. Uh, so, just because a government takes certain actions doesn't mean that the people there support or approve of it. Even here in America, we had some people support the war on terror, some didn't. And, you know, that's fine. Whatever your opinion is, you're entitled to that here in this country. We had that freedom. Uh, my wife has talked to her sister and her mom over there, and they're freaking out. They're not too happy about what's going on. Uh because of some of the restrictions in place, the prices of everything has gone up. It's getting very tough. I mean, it's already really tough to survive in Russia as it is on the income that they make. And now with prices going up, it's getting really, really hard. You know, my wife's sister, she has two children and a husband. For them, it's been hard finding work. Um, her mom still works to try to help out. I figure that's her mom. She's she's up there, you know. She's got some years on a lot of us, and she's still working full time. 
So very, you know, it's a tough situation in Russia. That's why my wife left. She didn't really see the opportunities that she would have, like if she came here. So, you know, uh, and I guess it would be my brother-in-law, because it would be my my wife's sister, her husband. When I was there in Russia, we spent a few days in Moscow, and then we went to her hometown where she grew up. And when you're there, you have to register your passport with the place that you're staying, the, the town. And you do that, um, we had to go to the local post office. And I don't care what you say about the U.S. post office, the worst person there probably has nothing on the Russian post office. So we have to register the passport. We have to fill out the same form twice. They won't even photocopy it. Each form has to be filled out twice. They made a mistake. They had they had to refill out the whole form. They wouldn't let you just cross something out. And this was a long form. And you know, my brother-in-law tells me he's like, "You can't help where you're born." You know, and that's important. You know, nobody can help what color you are, what race you are, where you're at. None of us have any control over that situation. And while that situation wasn't ideal with registering a passport, that's Russian rules. If you want to go there, you have to deal with it. And that's just part of being there. So I, you know, from talking to them, even my wife, nobody there has anything against Ukraine. Uh, a matter of fact, you know, it's probably the opposite. A lot of the former Soviet countries dislike Russia because of having had been under control for, from them for a while. You know, my brother-in-law there, he's originally from... Georgia and a lot of Russians don't like Georgians or Georgians don't like Russia so he, it's a little tough situation for them then uh, regular viewers to the channel remember the beginning of 2020 before the pandemic took off me and Daily Z01 we went to Texas for the Cletus and Cars his wife is from one of the Soviet bloc countries and I can't remember and he told me, he's like, he goes, nothing personal, but our wives will never meet. She absolutely hates Russians. And if you're a Russian, she wants nothing to do, do with you. So, you know, but as far as like most of the Russians go, you know, that they couldn't help that they were born in Russia and that the Soviet Union had control, you know, that it was the Soviet Union. It was a, a whole control thing. So it's just as wrong as people over there or anywhere else to dislike them. But, you know, I just think the whole point of thing is having family over there right now. They, they're they not in support of the actions. They're terrified as well. They're hurting because of the sanctions. It's causing their prices to go up. So, you know, like I said, you, you can't, you have to separate a government from the people. That's why I love travel. That's why I love going out, visiting new cultures and places like that. It's really interesting to see the people. Ukraine is definitely one of those places. We were really, we were actually looking to go there uh, right as this pandemic happened. We were actually going to go, we had a trip book to uh, the Caribbean. We we're going to do some snorkeling and some stuff like that. And then we were looking at Ukraine. Um, really want to get back over to that part of the world. Her is very affordable. It's a really cool place to go see. And, you know, unfortunately, the pandemic happened. So hopefully we'll get through this stuff and borders will open up and we can travel. And I really encourage people, go out there. You know, Russia was one of those things, like I said, growing up, Cold War, they were the enemy. Matter of fact, even in basic training, those of you that went through in the 90s, Remember, we had the green pop-up targets on the range, and they were little green soldiers with a rifle, and they had a red star, and they called them Ivans. It's what we trained to shoot at. And now here I am married to a Russian. So, uh, it's, it's just, it's a bad situation going on over there. Nobody wants to see this. I feel bad for the people in Ukraine. I mean, who, who the hell wants bombs and, and fighter planes flying over their city and... and all that stuff nobody so hopefully we can get some peace and some resolution this won't last long but yeah I mean we, we do stand with the people of Ukraine I mean do feel bad for what's going on hope to visit that beautiful country here one day soon so 
that's you know the the point of view from people living there. They're just like us, just like anybody else anywhere in the country, or the country, the world. You know, it's the goal of people to live a nice, comfortable, happy life. Everybody wants to come home, kick off their shoes, maybe watch a little TV, have something nice to eat, provide for their children, give them a better future from what they have. We always want to see our kids do better than us, and we want to see the world get better. So I figured I would just go ahead and put that out there. Sorry, my wife's not really big on talking for a long time, sitting in front of the camera and doing all that stuff, but, you know, she passed along to me, you know, her feelings, the feelings of her family and all that, and... They're really not in support of what the country, their country, is doing. So I'll just leave it at that, okay? So, Sorry, cutting in here, I realized that when I did the edit, I missed one of the key things that I wanted to touch on. And that was, you know, the Russian people, the hospitality is absolutely phenomenal. Once you get to know them and they open up their house and all that to you, you have friends for life. I was a little concerned going over there. As an American, how would they take take to that? How would they uh, receive an American being over, especially an American that married one of their own? Even though, yes, that's her sister, her daughter, whatever, you know, their family. How would they perceive me? And, you know, it was absolutely fantastic. Everybody in her family welcomed me with open arms. As a matter of fact, uh, her cousin's daughter... Gave me a uh, this gift right here. My mother-in-law knows I like cars. She had this poster made. This wasn't something she bought. She got the pictures together and actually made that poster for me. There was one time in her hometown, we were at a small farmer's market. And then my wife said something. Or I think I asked my wife something. And the people heard me speak. And then you could hear them in Russian say American. And I heard that, and it's like they had a smile on their face. They couldn't believe this. There's an American there. And they were like pointing, like, American, American. They were, you know, like I said, they were excited. That's probably, probably the first one they've uh, ever seen. So, uh, people there are extremely nice. And, you know, I can't reiterate enough. You can't compared to government to the people there i mean i had a fantastic time her family welcomed me with open arms and gave us some gifts and that and i had a fantastic time I mean, any any place we went we didn't have a problem with anybody there so let's wrap this up so that's that thanks for watching hopefully you got something good and interesting out of this the hopefully you know, this is about to be March 2022. I'm a month away from leaving on the uh, Appalachian Trail. Can't wait to bring that to everybody. So be nice to get out there and forget about <laughs> the world and stuff for a while. So, yeah, anyhow, stay safe, take it easy, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.